Yat e she'e Dr. Lydia Kim Yanishye. Hello, I'm Dr. Lydia Kim, and I'm a pediatrician at Northern Navajo Medical Center. During the COVID-19 pandemic, I've been working in the COVID car clinic, community testing events, and now community vaccination events. Over the past few months, many of the providers, including myself, have heard your questions and concerns about the COVID-19 vaccine. I would like to take a moment to answer some of your most frequently asked questions. I am a community health representative and I get asked a lot out in the field, what will it do to me and what will the side effects be? This is probably the most common question we encounter and for good reason. After getting vaccinated, you may have some temporary side effects and these are normal signs that your body is building its protection up against COVID-19. The most common side effects are pain and swelling in the arm where you received the shot. In addition, you may have some chills, tiredness, headache, or fever. These side effects may affect your ability to do your normal activities, but they should go away in a few days. On the day of your vaccine, it is important to stay hydrated with water, and you can take Tylenol or Motrin if you feel uncomfortable after getting your vaccine. If someone is pregnant or wanting to get pregnant, can they get the shot? Yes. If you are pregnant, you definitely may choose to be vaccinated. There is currently no evidence that antibodies formed from the COVID-19 vaccines cause any problem with pregnancy, including the development of the baby or placenta. Also, people who are trying to become pregnant now or who plan to try in the future may receive the vaccine. There is no evidence that fertility problems are a side effect of any vaccine, including the COVID-19 vaccines. Yes, you should still get the vaccine even if you already had COVID-19. We don't know how long the natural immunity from having a COVID-19 infection lasts, and the vaccine can help boost your protection against the COVID-19 virus. We have been recommending that you wait 90 days after your infection before you get the vaccine for two reasons. One, we know you have some amount of protection from COVID-19 for 90 days, and two, because you have that protection, your body may have more of those temporary side effects, like the headaches and muscle aches after the vaccine. You may still choose to get the vaccine before the 90 days are over, as long as you are done with your acute infection and are done with your isolation. I heard people say you can get COVID from the vaccine, so what's in it? Currently, there are three COVID-19 vaccines authorized by the Food and Drug Administration. The Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines all target the spike protein that is located on the COVID-19 virus. This spike protein is what the COVID-19 virus uses to attack our cells. It is important to note that none of the three vaccines have any part of the virus in them. You cannot get coronavirus from the vaccine. Johnson & Johnson is a single-shot vaccine, so no booster or second shot is needed. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are mRNA vaccines that require two shots to get the most protection. When you get the vaccine, you will receive a fact sheet that lists the ingredients. After you receive your shot, you will be monitored on site for 15 minutes just to make sure you do not have an allergic reaction. If someone has an underlying health condition, should they get the vaccine? Vaccination is an important choice for adults with underlying medical conditions, such as diabetes, asthma, chronic kidney disease, liver disease, people with weakened immune systems due to illness or medication, and people who have autoimmune conditions. We know that adults of any age with underlying health conditions are at an increased risk for severe illness from COVID-19. Thank you for your questions. It takes a combined effort with all of us to keep our families and communities safe. Stopping a pandemic requires using all the tools we have, 
So when in public, continue to wear masks and keep a safe distance. Avoid crowds, wash your hands frequently, and get vaccinated.